So you saw it in the thumbnail. We're talking 990v6. But we're talking the black and silver colorway because, you know, those Instagram ads and following places like Sneaker Shouts and Sneaker Steel, um, on Instagram, you can find some deals sometimes. And these were half off for $99. And I don't know about you, but 100 bucks for a 990 of any version is a gigantic steal, let alone the newest model in a colorway that was on my soon-to-get list anyhow. So... Of course I picked them up. Let's check them out together. Let's kick it. So standard New Balance gray 990 box. My true size of eight and a half. It says running, but and you can run in them, but they're more of a lifestyle sneaker. You grab that flip top box and get it out the way. Here we go, the black and silver. Let's grab that bad boy. Still has the New Balance tag on it. Let me pull that out real quick so we can get that out of our way. Of course, it's unlaced. I haven't. They come unlaced just like a Jordan 1 because uh, I haven't touched it yet, but I love this silhouette. This is now my fifth colorway of this shoe. I have more 990 V6s than any other 990. I think the second most would be the V4. I've got a few Teddy Santis colorways, whereas I have one Teddy Santis colorway and one Joe Fresh Goods colorway of these, but the other three are standard GR releases such as this. I just really like this. Yeah, it's dad shoe done right. I don't care what anybody thinks. You can see the black, gray, and white. You have the fuel cell in the rear. This lighter gray foam is their fuel cell foam. You have their end cap system, which is a thicker polyurethane shell injected with a lighter EVA foam. And I'm pretty sure this is their absorb foam. It doesn't label it, but it has the squishy, you know, the feel, the rebound consistency of their absorb foam. And then as we come up the sides, you have that beautiful black pig suede that they like to use. We have a smoother new buck perforated inlay with the mesh inlays inside of that you have your 3m hits on the end you have some more 3m hits here as well as here on the lacing right by the new balance logo you've got it right here by the toe you got 3m hits everywhere with gray laces that you know i'm definitely going to enjoy having white laces or gray laces was the right move here i'm glad they didn't go with black laces 990 v6 plate then on the medial side more of the same have that rand going around of that beautiful cut of black pig suede, more 3M hits, and all the inlays. New Balance made in the USA, more 3M hits running up around the sides. Decent mesh lining padding, you know, comfortable but not over the top padded. And then with the insole, it is a pretty good insole. It's got some thickness to it. New Balance running, you have articulated arch support here that comes up pretty high. If you need more, you can always drop in an orthotic. And there's some thickness to this particular foam. I don't believe it's an ortho Ortholite branded insole, but it definitely has some pretty good step-in comfort. Again, that's a thicker crash pad in the heel. And it's a relatively thick uh, like foam base. It's not polyurethane based or anything like that. Let me pull it paper and the laces and all that good stuff out the way because as we go in here and look at the strobel you can see where it's all stitched they're not the most breathable shoe in the world the mesh does offer a little bit of breathability throughout in those mesh panels but it is it's got some thick backing but you do have a little bit of rigidity here before you get to the foam to add some stability but overall they're definitely on the more comfortable side of things. That's why I keep getting different pairs of 990s. I'm here for the style. Got to lace them up. I'm here for the style of the shoe. Um, I really love the colorway. I didn't have any black 990s or black New Balances. They didn't have other color pops like the New Balance 1000 that I have is a multicolor. It's a black base with a bunch of green, yellow, purple, and red on it. Whereas here, it's just subtle. It's neutral. I'm actually going to wear these today after we lace these up and put, do the on foot footage, they're not coming off my feet. I'm going to the gym, I got, I got chest and back today, and uh, I'm gonna be rocking these casually with these sand color joggers that you've already seen, uh, these oversized joggers that I'm wearing here today. I just, I don't know, it just feels like they were the right 
casual sneaker for the fit here today. But yeah, if you haven't experienced any 990s, uh, I highly suggest checking out the V6. They're the most comfortable. The V3 and V4 being two of the more stylish retro looking ones that I think are always going to work. But outside of that, the five's cool. The two and the one super retro look. So you very old school with the V1 and the V2. Uh, but if you're getting a V3 or a V6 mainly, I think you're in good shape because V6 has a ton of color options, a variety of uh, material options, different collaborations. I mean, you just can't go wrong if you want something neutral, you want something wild. There's a 990 V6 for you. So thank you guys for checking out this overview with me. I'm eager to lace these up and throw these on and film the on-foot footage you've been seeing throughout. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe.